The greatest power in the universe is life, and it's in you. Every moment, every hour, every day, month, and year, you gain more experience, more ability, more power. Go be great. You're listening to the Go Be Great podcast with Travis Ford Sr. Inspiring you to strive for greatness in everything, everywhere, every time. Go Be Great! Great day. This is the Go Be Great podcast. I'm your host, Travis Wolf Sr., and you are great. Thank you so much for joining us for the Go Be Great experience, guys. I just want to talk about one thing today. This is going to be a really, really short podcast. And that thing that I want to talk about is simply failure. And the world has created this idea of failure. And especially in today's time right now where we are with the whole coronavirus thing, everything being shut down, a lot of people are talking about failure and we're putting a lot of energy into something that doesn't really even exist, to be honest with you. I think that the world created this idea of failure for whatever reason and then we accepted that as an actual thing. And many people are afraid of failure. That's something that we hear about when people are trying to attain success in their lives or attain something. We're often talking about how we're afraid of failure or we're afraid of success or whatever. But the fear of failure is, people say fear stands for like false evidence appearing real. Failure is false. It's not a real thing. We, we've created it and accepted it as something that's real, but truly it's not. When we attempt to do a thing and it doesn't turn out the way that we anticipated it or the way that we foresaw it turning out immediately, that is not failure, but it's simply experience. What if we, I want to introduce you to something called a paradigm shift for those of you who may not know what it is. And for those of you who do, I want to encourage you to be open-minded and be willing to shift your perspective on this for a second. And what, what if we looked at failure as something that was... My definition of failure is failure is simply experience that contributes to my success. It's, it's not good. It's not bad. It's simply experience, right? So if I attempt to write a book and it doesn't work out the first time around, did I fail? Because I talked about it, I think, in last week's episode of the podcast or maybe a couple before that, but I spoke about in my podcast recently how I failed or I didn't say that how I attempted to become a police officer 14 different times and got told no by, uh, by six different departments, a total of 14 different times, right? When I was talking about that, I never said that I, I failed. Because did I fail? Because I'm a retired police sergeant today. So although I was told no 14 different times and it didn't work out a total of 14 times, I also... I'm a retired police sergeant. So was it failure or did I gain experience? Did I learn what I had to do differently the next time that I tried? Did I learn what I had to do differently the next time I applied and went through the process? The next time I took the test? Like, did I learn what to did I learn eventually how to put all the pieces in the place so that it worked for me to get the job that I wanted? I didn't fail when I didn't get the job. I gained, although I got a letter and said that I didn't, that I that that I I failed this test or failed that test. I didn't fail. I just gained experience, which helped contribute to my ultimate success. I got to do the job that I loved for 12 years and retired, and I, I, I loved every moment of it, right? So I think that's success. I think that going through that process, learning how to avoid those pitfalls the next time around, whenever we try a thing, we don't know. If everybody knew how to get what they wanted, right now, then everybody would have it. There's a process to attaining what you want. You have to go through those experiences. So I think success is going through those experiences. Success is going through that process, having those experiences, and then learning from those experiences what to do next, what to apply or not apply, or or what to take away, what didn't work, what did work, what can we do differently? How do we master that? How do we make it better for next time? I don't think we failed. But I think when we accept it as failure, then many of us quit. Also, when we accept it as failure, many of us are afraid to try it again because we don't like not to succeed. We don't like not to we don't like to to try a thing and not get that because we don't always understand that there's a process to getting it. You've heard this the saying success doesn't happen overnight, right? 
Um, we've heard, um, you know, it's only it's only taking you 10 years to become an overnight success, right? Like you don't, if everybody knew how to do a thing and be successful at it, everybody would be successful. But everybody's not because everybody doesn't understand that there's a process to getting there and that you will be successful at a thing if you continue to apply Continue to apply, continue to learn, gain experience, and apply that experience and that knowledge and that wisdom the next time around. And that's the process. That is success, depending on your how you look at it. And that's why I want to introduce you to the paradigm shift. I want you to be to, to consider shifting the way that you view things, the way that you see the world, especially in terms of failure, because it's not failure. I want you to consider this. When you started, whatever journey you're on right now, right? If you are on a journey of self-fulfillment, of achievement, um, of giving, of serving, whatever it is, when you started on that journey, did you know how to get to where you are just right now? Like wherever you are in that journey, did you know how to get from where you are, from where you were to where you are at this very moment? Probably not right? Unless you just started just now when you started watching the podcast, right? You probably didn't know how to get from point A to point where you are right now. But along the path, along the journey, you learn different things. You had different experiences. You, you had things that you, you had things happen that, uh, that you liked that worked for you. And you had things that happened that may not have been so preferable, but from all of those things you learned, from all of those things, you gained experiences, and then you implemented the information that you learned. You applied that knowledge the next time around as you progressed on the journey, as you took that next step, right? Every next step, we apply what we learned from last step. We apply that experience and that information, and then the next step is even better and gets and it's a bigger step and takes us further because we now have more knowledge and more wisdom to push forward. We didn't fail because we didn't achieve it. If you want to become a singer and you had an opportunity at your school to, to sing or at your, you know, at some event somewhere and you and you didn't do well, you know, and you didn't do as, as well as you would have liked to do, you gained experience. When I had my when I had my very first speaking engagement, I was my not my very first, but one of my first biggest speaking engagements, I was in the front of 400 students. And my microphone, I had these wireless mics. I paid eight hundred dollars for these awesome wireless mics. I knew where they were going to work. I had this, all this equipment. I paid all this money for, right? I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> like you don't, when you first get started, you don't, I wanted to look like who I saw myself being right away before I learned how to become what I saw myself being. So I bought all the things to look the part, but I hadn't really attained the knowledge and the wisdom and the experience to get there. So I had a lot of bumps and hiccups and experiences along the way. Everything's only experience, guys. Everything is only experience. I don't like to even label them as bumps or hiccups or, or anything negative because it's not negative. It's just experience. So as I gained experience along the way, as I learned, I realized I didn't need all those things at first. I needed to work out all of this. I needed to get better at my craft. I needed to get better at what I'm doing, at serving, at delivering this message a powerful message that's going to impact and empower and inspire people before I started trying to buy the things to look cool or look like I knew what I was doing or to have the greatest sound or to have the great. I wanted to make sure I had all the best video angles. I had all the, I had all the, the best equipment. But when I got in front of that audience and then the equipment went out, right? Um, the person intro introducing me, my sister actually was introducing me and her, she had a wireless mic that I had bought and I had a wireless mic. Um, and when we crossed paths, our wireless mic, we were right under the speaker, and our wireless mics, and, and together with this speaker, I don't know, something happened and everything blew out. There's this loud click, and everything just went out. So now I'm in front of 400 students in this giant auditorium, and I have no sound. And now I start freaking out. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm talking to my guys, like my, I'm talking to Carlton, like, yo, get the sound back going. Um, I got all my team working to try to get the sound work up, and instead of me dealing with the crowd, understanding that the show must go on, I started trying to fiddle with the equipment to make the equipment work. I'm trying to figure out how to get this stuff right. And people are looking at me. I hear people, you know, talking. The kids are starting to get rambunctious and they're getting bored. They're, they're not, they're not, I lost their attention. I lost their focus. And luckily my sister was able to jump in. She realized what was going on, grabbed the mic and brought them back in and got them back focused again. But in that experience, I gained wisdom and knowledge on how to progress forward. 
I didn't fail, you know, and at that time I didn't have this mindset. So when I first did it, I'm like, dang, man, I feel pretty bad. Like I, I really messed that up. Like I really bombed that, you know, that's how I felt at that time. But as I progressed and got older, I realized that, you know what, this is a great experience. This is a great learning experience for me. So I can see what I need to do better next time. And now if that ever happens, the mics don't work. I was, I, I can, I can, I can use my voice and speak from my diaphragm and I can, I can project my voice enough that no matter how big the place I'm in, people are going to be able to hear me, especially if I'm in, if I'm, if I'm in an auditorium where there's four walls, I'll project my voice to make sure everybody can hear me. I don't have to have the proper mic and everything working. But if I looked at that as a failure, some people will quit after something like that happened. Like it kind of could ruin them because they're like, oh man, I messed up so bad. I can't, because we look at it as a failure. But if I looked at it as simply experience, you can't get mad at experience. You can't get sad or upset or feel like you failed when you gained experience. I gained so much wisdom and experience and knowledge from that situation. And you know what the craziest thing was? Even though I thought that I did a, a, didn't do such a great job, when I was done, the kids were swarming me. They were swarming me to hear, to talk more to me, hear about more of my story, talk about how I can help them and whatever they're trying to do become successful. It was the principal loved it. The people who brought me into the school, they loved it. Everybody loved all of that, even though I felt like I failed or I did bad. It was an extraordinary experience. And I learned that your equipment doesn't make you, right? The, having the great equipment doesn't make you great. Having that having that greatness in you and being willing to share with other people, being willing to help other people, being willing to serve other people, whether or not your mic is working is what made that moment for me, what made me great in that moment. And that's why people appreciated it so much. You know, so I just really want to encourage you guys, if you decide that everything is experience and don't label it as failure or a mess up or I bombed it, don't label it as any of that crap. You gained experience. If you gain experience, it's always a win. If you gain experience, it always help you to, helps you to progress forward. If you gain experience, you gain more knowledge, you gain more understanding, you gain more wisdom. Now you know how to, to do things in a way that you might feel is more, more acceptable, right? Something that you might feel is, is, is better because you gained that experience. So failure is not a real thing, guys. Fair is not real. The only thing that's real is experience. And everything, everything, everything is experience. So go experience. Go get some. And go be great.